Hello, everybody on the Master Shah Dow Center Toronto Facebook page. And welcome, welcome, welcome to this special Facebook Live show. Thank you so much for joining us from around the world. We welcome you to share in the comments, where are you from? And share with us that you're here. We're so grateful to be spending this time together and we have a really wonderful show in store for you today on the Master Shah Dow Center Toronto Facebook page, all about spirit and science and unleashing your unlimited abundance in all aspects of life. And it is my greatest honor to introduce to you a very, very special human being, a very special, very, very special person who has trained over six thousand soul practitioners from around the world he is a certified master teacher healer practitioner of the Tao academy one of the leading teachers here at the master shah Tao center toronto and globally with the Tao academy and his name is francisco quintero so we are so excited to be joined by francisco today so welcome 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 Thank you, thank you, Alexia, and thank you, everyone, and welcome. This is, we're very excited because we're here to talk about the spirit and science of success. So take a moment, everyone, go to the, uh, the Facebook chat and tell us where you're from, say hello, send in your love, send in your likes. We would love to hear from you, uh, you know, so, you know, today I was talking to a very successful businesswoman. She's from, uh, from Europe, from Belgium. Very successful. She's starting a new business. And in this new business, she wants to bring out, um, bring a special kind of product to humanity, special water. And she was sharing with me how, you know, she, was, she, she had several very successful businesses but she had to make some changes in her life and she's in the process of creating something new. But in that process of transformation, she actually had to let go of some of the finances and let go of some of the old ways of doing business. And she shared with me that in this process of letting go and being in the process of creating something new that comes from her heart, she shared with me how there was more abundance in her heart and she was reaching now her more authentic self and that was the quality that was going to is uh, going to allow her to create success in her new business so i thought that was like absolutely wonderful because she's understanding at a deeper level that abundance comes from the soul Abundance comes from the heart. And when we are able to create that, we can then manifest success. We can manifest success in our health, success in our businesses, success in our relationships, every part of our life. So I thought was a beautiful, this just happened today how we, uh, during a consultation. So I thought, wow, this business is going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, so, you know, we are here now in this new era, a new time period, and we need new tools, new language, new practices on how to create success. So we have a, a beautiful upcoming workshop this weekend on Saturday and Sunday, the spirit and science of success. So today is an introduction about what you're going to learn. So give you a little taste about that. So uh, I see, welcome, Laura, uh, welcome, Tash, welcome, Rose, Shai, welcome, Daniela, Robin, continue to share in your love. Uh, so happy to see many people from around the world. So it's going to be a very special evening we have uh, together. So let us welcome next, um, uh, you know, I was reading uh, Cher O'Rourke. She's one of my colleagues here at Master Shah's Dao Center in Toronto. And I was, she's been teaching a very special series on 
success and enlightenment, and very like the soul, understanding the soul of this new time period called the soul light era. So I'm going to let her share a little bit of wisdom that she has been learning and teaching to others because she's going to bring all of that to our workshop this weekend. So let us welcome Cher O'Rourke. Welcome, Cher. Francisco, it's my honor to be here this evening with you and my honor to be here with all of you. You know, we love to get together. And I was just reading some of the comments. I see people from uh, the East Coast uh, of North America, the West Coast of North America, from here in Toronto and Ontario, Quebec. I see people from Hawaii. I see people from London, England. And it's amazing. It's so late in London right now, but you must be late night folks. And we're so happy you are and that you are here with us. So I am really excited to be offering this workshop along with Francisco. Uh, Francisco has such a great heart and he really carries so much of Master Shah's wisdom. And we all have the opportunity to receive this wisdom, to use this wisdom in our lives, to use the tools, this extraordinary tools that Master Shah has given to us so generously. You know, he's written so many incredible books, New York Times bestselling books. Um, but also he gives us the practices and he gives us the pathway, really. And a few of the things that I want to share with you tonight that we're going to explore more deeply over uh, the weekend of um, spirit and science of success. Because we know that Success means different things to different people. Uh, you know, we can have success, as Francisco was saying, in our health, or we're looking for success in our health. We, we can look for or want to create greater success in our relationships or in our business or in our service or um, in, an, in any aspect of life. And Success means wanting to take whatever it is that we are doing to the next level. And maybe you're wanting to create a new career, for example. And so we need to understand what it is that we need, certainly physically, you know, to do that. But we also need to understand what it is we need to create spiritually on an energetic level. Um on an information and message level. And I want to talk about that just a little bit um, for a few minutes. So Master Shah has uh, offered us a teaching on this period of time that we're living in. And he refers to it as the soul light era. And there have been wonderful teachers, you know, uh, through time who have mentioned this particular period on Mother Earth this particular period of the 21st century. And it has been given different names, new, new age, Aquarian age, and so on. But we refer to it as the soul light era. And it began August 8, 2003. And from that period of time, and it will last, this period of time is a long period of time. It, it's going to last for the next 15,000 15, years. And it is a significant time on Mother Earth because it is a time when we, as human beings, are developing, are growing, are evolving. Uh, we have come out of, you know, productive times as human beings productive in the sense of industry, of technology, of, um, you know, developing strong uh, mind, you know, consciousness. But the soul light era is a time, uh, you know, given its name to really develop our soul. And that we will developing, we will be developing as human beings, our own soul, our main body soul, but also the souls all around us and within us. 
In Master Shah's teaching, he teaches that everyone and everything has a soul. Soul is information. Soul is message. This is Tao science now we're talking about. And information, message is the beginning of creating something. Before we can create something, there needs to be a message of some kind. There needs to be a piece of, of information from which we create. And our soul loves to create. Our main soul just loves to create. And it is identified as message. And so in, in, within the soul light era, it's not just our own, you know, human being soul, but all the souls around us, all the information, that, that great information highway that we access from all the souls that have gone before us, all the souls that are around us now, and all the souls um, of future, so past, present, and future time. So we can tap into um this great information highway in order to create whatever it is that we want to create whether that's you know better health better emotional balance um whether we are wanting to change the way we think or develop greater greater wisdom greater memory greater retention um whether it is we are creating as i mentioned earlier or wanting to a new career for ourselves because this is the time, the soul light era, in which we uh, have the opportunity to realize our greatest potential. Our potential is coming forward. Everything, the stars, the sun, the moon, the planets, the galaxies, the universes, Mother Earth, our own planet, and all of nature, you know, the, the waters, the oceans, lakes, rivers, forests, mountains, animals, they are all part of the soul light era and part of creation in the soul light era of creating a new world and new potential for each one of us. What that means is we are going to tap into our very best qualities. You know, the qualities uh, that Master Shah teaches about the 10 sacred qualities, love, forgiveness, compassion, light, humility, flourishing, harmony, gratitude, uh, service, enlightenment. Because in this period of time, what's important is that whatever it is that we are wanting to create is going to be of good service in some way. So businesses will change now. There's a lot of change going on in the planet right now. I think we're all very much aware of that. We're all feeling that. We are all experiencing that. It's not an accident that humanity is going through what we are going through right now, that the circumstances that have been created have been created. There is something really important for us to learn in this period of time, and it requires us to do some inner reflection, to take the time that we have right now to do some inner reflection about what it is we are going to do next, what it is we are going to create, both individually but collectively. It's not just about us, what we want, but about what we are going to do that is going to be of higher service in some way. This is very, very important for us to understand. Because when we do that, when we reflect on that, and when we begin to tap into what it is our, our soul truly wants, because ultimately, it's our soul that is the essence of our being that is going to lead um, this very creative period. Again, our individual souls but our collective souls, the soul of our planet, the soul of our beloved Mother Earth, which is such a great and loving and compassionate soul already. We need to learn from her. We need to understand how to behave more like her, to have less attachments, to have less ego, and to be driven by our love, by our compassion, so that whatever it is that we are bringing forward, 
is going to help us to awaken further. It's going to help our loved ones, our family, our friends, people in our community to awaken further and beyond. And in this way, we will create a new earth. We will create solutions for pollution. These solutions will, will come to us and come to those, you know, those scientists, those people who are, are working on it now. But what will happen is um, we will discover new, we will have new thoughts, we will have new feelings. And in that way, we will um, bring those to, to light and the soul world will support us, our spiritual fathers and mothers, you know, the Tao, the divine, whatever your belief system may be, they will gather to support the good service, the more awakened and enlightened in order to create, you know, this new earth that we're talking about. So we do it in small ways. And in those small ways, what we are doing as individuals will then affect the next one and the next one and the next one who we bring into um, our our field because that's what's happening we are creating this positive field these positive messages in the soul light era and in doing so we are attracting other positive fields other positive messages other positive individuals and groups who are going to contribute in some way who are going to support what it is that we are doing so it's such an exciting time in so many ways as much as you know this time can be challenging um, it is also a very exciting time and when we adopt you know certain practices daily practices actually when we take the time, and many of us have more time now because we're not, you know, traveling out there to go here, go there. Um, you know, many people are working from home. Some, of course, are working out there. But however we spend our day, it is always wonderful and beneficial to take time to do some very specific practices in order to clear negative messages and bring new positive messages to creation. And so Francisco and I are going to share some special practices with you uh, during the weekend workshop and give you opportunity to really, really progress and move forward in transforming whatever it is that you need to transform, move forward to help you create whatever it is that you want to create. So in your thinking, and, and tonight, and we're going to invite you to share tonight. I, I would love for you know some of you to share a little bit about what it is that you want to create already. What is it that you're thinking about that you want to create in the soul light era? Because we're all born into this time. We all have a purpose in being here at this very specific time. Get excited about it. Go directly into it understand it on a deeper level what your purpose is what your service is in the soul light era and if you have children if you have grandchildren you know um you're going to help them you're going to support them or you're going to support your friends or your nieces or your nephews okay to awaken and i i know you all know what i'm talking about um you know we all have our family members, our friends, clients, community, right? Who we want to create with and who are going to share, you know, wisdom with us and who we are going to share wisdom with. So over the weekend, Francisco and I are going to create some special practices for you that you can use, of course, beyond, you know, just the weekend event. We really have a really nice group, you know, gathered already. And uh, we invite all of you uh, who are not yet there to, to join us as well. So this is the exciting time we are in, my friends. And there's so much that we can do and that we can do together. We want to support one another. We want to encourage one another. We want to share ideas. 
and ways of doing things, of opening the door, you know, as it were, of aligning with the messages of the soul light era, aligning with the universal laws. And we're going to share some of that with you as well. You know, we have the universal law of Shan Chi Jing, soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter, and how we align our Shan Chi Jing. Because when we don't have success in um, whatever aspect of life, you know, we're trying to create success in, it's because something is out of alignment. So we're going to learn about the universal laws, um, uh, certainly of Shan Chi Jing, and how to bring that into alignment and others. Are you excited? <laughs> I hope you're excited because I'm excited. I know together, and it does, it takes a village. No one person can do it alone. So many of us are out there, you know, trying to do it alone, thinking you have all the answers. I have all the answers. I don't. You don't. But together, we have the answers, and we can help each other. We can support each other and um, offer each other our love and our encouragement. So, yes, Tasha is excited. Wonderful. Thank you. Kristen says, got it. Wonderful. Brianna is saying, I would like to complete my bachelor's in nursing. Beautiful, Brianna. You can do it. Yes. Lori, yes, we are. Love you too, Lori. Thank you so much. Yes, we are here. We are together. So thank you for allowing me to share just a little bit about what we're going to do this weekend. And I'm going to hand it back to Francisca right now. Danielle says, yes, excited to align my <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Cher. Can you feel the excitement? I do have a question for you, Cher. From listening to you, are you saying that the source, that the universe, is that I have everything that I need to have success, I just need to learn how to tap into it? Absolutely. That's exactly what I'm saying. You know, the source, the Tao is so generous, so loving, so compassionate, and willing to give us, willing to, you know, what it is that we need, help us to manifest what it is that we need. And, you know, we're going to talk about how to how to manifest, of course, because that's the key to, to creation as well. Great. Thank you, Cher. So I, I love myself manifestation uh, and developing um, soul potentials because we all have like uh, inner potentials of our soul, like gifts, abilities. We just need to learn how to bring all that out because it's within us. It's in our heart. It's in our soul. And when we bring those out, we can tap into our greatest um, reach, our highest potential so that we can serve. You know, many of you want to become, uh, serve more people, serve family members, heal more, uh, you know, help people to transform their lives. So, you know, the success is also success in our service. And there are tools, there are soul secrets that we can learn at a, about how to have success in our service. It's gonna be very exciting. So we have a special guest next um, who has been using and practicing some of these techniques for quite some time. And we have brought her on, uh, it's uh, Vanessa Ferraro, and she's gonna share with you what she has learned and how it has transformed her life. So let us bring on next Va Vanessa. Welcome, <laughs> Vanessa. Hi, hello everybody. Hello, Master Francisco. Welcome. Hi. If you could share, Vanessa, your successes using these techniques and anything you'd like to share with them about success and abundance. Yes, I'm so grateful for this opportunity to share. Um, prior to finding these practices and um, these soul wisdom that's imparted from the Tao Center, I was already in a service-based industry. I was already healing. I was a Reiki practitioner, um, an event coordinator, and I had a lot of, um, I was juggling a lot of things. And um, I still felt like I wasn't fully, even though I was making progress, and even though I was in service, I still didn't feel successful. 
and I still didn't feel fully um, aligned, as Cher had mentioned, feeling super aligned to my service. And um, it was quite challenging at times, especially if you're an entrepreneur like myself or self-employed, you know, to stay motivated and to stay focused and to stay, um, it, you know, in a centered place, especially when you're doing healings. Um, so this work has completely transformed my life because I never knew that my business had a soul. So when I learned about that through uh, Master Shaw's teachings and through the Tao Center, it really opened something new up for me in terms of being able to connect to the soul of my business. I do forgiveness practice with the soul of my business. I could um, almost, instead of me trying to run my business, like according to what my mind thought or what I, Vanessa, had in mind, um, the soul of my business started directing me what to do and started telling me how I should show up and what I should offer and how I should serve. So that was a complete 360 is that my business had a certain level of consciousness and energy and a mission to serve. And now I'm feeling like I take directions from the soul of my business, not what I think I want. Based That's a big shift. <laughs> That's a big shift. <laughs> and it's not always easy because sometimes the soul of your business wants you to do something that you're like, really? <laughs> and, and then if you don't do it, it quickly, you know, doesn't work out. So <laughs> it, it's really been so helpful to have these practices and to open up this new realm of possibility with, yeah, connecting in that way. It's been really powerful. It's beautiful. So, you know, just in the past week or two, I've had, uh, I was working with some clients and other people uh, and two people mentioned your name, Vanessa. I was like, oh, I'm working with this. So I was like, so can you share how this has really like expanded your business? Like, and the joy that I feel that you're joyful now bringing these tools to others and how, how the, how, how has that shifted? So, so much, so much, so much, so much, so much. So, um, mostly because now when I'm serving my clients and supporting my clients, and I know that these practices can actually transform their soul, their heart, their energy, their consciousness, I realize that I'm helping with so much more than just strategy and marketing tools and, you know, um, tactics, you know, it's, um, inside of doing the work that you have taught us to do and my ability to share that and impart that with my clients, um, they're doing the practices and they're receiving so much positive shifts and change that actually have nothing to do with business. What's funny is that I've learned from you and the Dow Center that our business, especially if we're a service-based um, business, um, we are feeling called to serve. And so committing to the business or to the practice or to the service, that becomes a vehicle where our soul gets to grow and expand. So now with the clients that I work with, um, wow, they're so attuned and aligned to who I am and my mission and what I wanna bring to the world. So there's a lot more harmony. There's a lot more presence. There's a lot more love and compassion and forgiveness and um, and the ability to just kind of grow together. I feel like I'm growing with my clients, which is really, really incredible. And I feel what, what they're getting out of it because of these teachings is so much more than a business strategy. You know, it's, it's something that's fulfilling their soul and it's serving other people, which is the most important thing is to be of service. Great. So thank you very much, Vanessa, for joining thank us. You. <laughs> Bye, Great. Everyone. Thank you. So you see the excitement. You share had a great excitement. Vanessa's joy and heart. You feel the love. You feel the light because they're they're tapping into the soul, tapping into the soul potentials to help us all to have great success. 
So here's what we're gonna do, okay? Um, we're gonna do something very special next. Um, I, if anyone has, uh, you feel like you, you wanna have success in a part of your life, but you feel a little stuck and you're not sure how, you know, what to do, go ahead and put that you would love. We're gonna do what's called a spiritual reading. I'm gonna do a spiritual reading for one lucky person. And I'm gonna connect with Tao Source to give a message about how you can create success in your life. What is it that you need to transform? What is it that you need to focus on? Uh, and as Vanessa said, sometimes it's not about the business details, the accounting, the marketing, and so on. Sometimes it's about the inner transformation that needs to take place. Uh, so please share, uh, is there what area of your life that you would like to have greater success, but you feel a little bit blocked right now? And then I'm going to select uh, a, a lucky demo person to do that, okay? Okay, so I'll give, let's, uh, Danielle would love to get a reading. So we'll wait for a few more people to come in, and then I'm going to uh, select one person, okay? Uh, Tash said, what an incredible shift of perspective. And then she gives her congratulations, okay? And I see some people now coming in to po post, okay? So I see different aspects of life, you know, as I think I heard Cher mention in the beginning. You know, we all want to have success in every part of our life. That includes our health to be strong, healthy, uh, to rejuvenate, okay? Uh, it includes our, our mental health, includes our relationships, you know, loving relationships, harmonious relationships, you know, success in also in our careers, you know, the work that we do. Uh, and for many of you, it's also, you want success in your service to humanity. You know, many of you are dedicated in uh, serving people with your Tao hands. So this is Master Shah's uh, first level training program as Tao Healing Hands. So it can be every part, success in your spiritual journey. You know, uh, I myself have been in the spiritual journey with over 19 years. Uh, and, you know, I've had some bumps in the way, but I also had some great successes. Okay, and every time I had success, there was a an inner transformation that had to take place within me. There was something that I had to develop. Uh, for example, you know, more love, more compassion, more light. Okay, and so on. So I saw I see a lot of people with like but book, book publishing. Let's read a few of these where people want to have success. Melissa, yes, I would love guidance for all this certain area of work, employment, finances. Linda for finances, managing finances, and Scott, publishing books uh, and being an author. Like uh, I myself, I never thought that I would write a book, but now I have like uh, uh, four books. <laughs> so success just came around that and with and it just came out of the blue so you never know when you're ever gonna you know when you open the heart center when you start to develop qualities of the Tao, connecting with the source it's like so many things can happen in your life uh so jen said this is jennifer i would love grateful for re uh reading related to my business uh John would love to be considered. Christina, new family member here. So grateful for you all. Welcome, Christina. Malgosha, I would love to get support in order to be more to develop my soul healing business. Dial love and wisdom. Danielle, about exploiting my creativity and develop my healing business. Wonderful. See a lot of businesses here. Uh, then, uh, William said, I will be grateful to receive reading for passive income. Robin, I would love to have a spiritual reading for my soul healing business. Bernadette, yes, for many of us, I feel blocked in my deep desire to serve, to join many, many, many students. Rina, 
Uh, she wants to become a Kuan Yin lineage holder. That's one of Master Shah's more advanced healing programs, but I, I don't feel worthy. Uh, Nabir, for his career, uh, launched several careers, several directors. <laughs> that would be wonderful. <laughs> Monica, I would love to have greater success in my career. Michaela, what is it that I need to transfer for the next step in my healing business? So, you know, you see the wide range of topics. So during the, the spirit and science of success, it will, the teachings, the wisdom, and the practices is for all aspects of life. So we may focus on very specific aspects of life to be as an example, but the practices and the teachings is for everyone. Linda for flourishing, Tash, financial situation, Rose, connecting with the community. Brianna, I would love a spiritual reading on how I can be successful in getting my nursing degree. Wonderful. Uh, and Kristen for developing her business. Okay, so lots of people. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to, so I'm doing this, I'm going to do a spiritual check right now to see who we should check. Okay, one second. So I'm going to, to pick two people, okay? Uh, let's first one is going to be Danielle Lipelen, okay, from Quebec, about her developing her creativity and developing her healing business. Okay, so exciting. So let's all just close our eyes. As I connect with Source, I'm going to receive a message from the Source. And I'm going to, you know, deliver that message to Danielle. But you could close your eyes and just be in the field. When I do soul communication, the field becomes, you know, like a love field. It, it will nourish you. It will transform you. It's a healing blessing. So close your eyes, everyone. I'm going to connect. This is the Tao source. My most beloved, Danielle, there is great love in your heart and there is great passion for you to want to be creative. Your soul has a great desire to be more free, to talk to people, to guide them with the spiritual channels it is great passion in your heart to develop a business where you can guide people in healing, in transformation, and using your spiritual channels to assist them, to go out to different communities, to work with those who are needy, with women, and with your community of the First Nation people. But there are some challenges also. Some of these are from your mind. Some of them are attachments and also needing structure. For you, beloved one, go deeper in connecting with the quality of the greatest light. The greatest light is light from the source Bring this vibration into your heart and allow this vibration to transform your mind for that is what is needed at this time is the transformation of the mind to break free of the limited mindsets, limited beliefs and to replace them with mindsets of abundance beliefs that flourish and you will have success and during this upcoming workshop on the spirit and science of success you will learn how to transform these blockages further you are most loved and blessed
Dao source. Thank you, thank you, Dao source. <laughs> wow, beautiful. Okay, Danielle, you share. Anybody want to share also what you felt, you experienced? Ah, uh, very beautiful. There was so much light that I just felt from Dao source coming to her. And like many people, I was I, I could see Danielle with my third eye, and you know, they're they're part of our soul and our heart is just so excited. It just wants to like break free and, and be creative, be successful in doing the things that we love to do. But there was a little blockage there. It looked like, like a cage where she was boxed in. So we need to break free from those, okay? Uh, break free from the limitations. So it's going to be very exciting. So we'll teach a little some practices uh, at the upcoming workshop on how to do that. You know, trans, we call it transforming negative Shen teaching blockages. What that means is Shen are the, is the soul, heart, and mind. The Qi is the energy. The Jing is the matter. We're going to teach you how to transform those blockages that are preventing you from having success. Okay, and the next one I'm going to do is around uh, finances. So a lot of you <laughs> had finances. And then this one is going to be for Mark. So Mark, you're going to be also get a reading for today. So let us all close our eyes again. You know, sometimes when these messages come in, you know, they could also apply to you. If it resonates in your heart, you know, that could also be something for you to work on. So let's close our eyes once more. Bring your mind to your lower abdomen and feel the message. Listen to the message with your heart. How? This is the Tao source, our most beloved Mark. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up tall and be who you are. You have great abilities, our dear son, abilities within you to help many people, to serve many people. You also have many abilities, skill sets that you can bring in new creative ways of generating revenue, of generating finances. Focus, our dear son, on the service. Your heart is now ready to serve more and more and more and more. And when you do this, your finances will begin to transform. Do not focus too much on the details. Focus on the service and the rest will follow. You are now ready for a breakthrough. Be persistent. And for you, the quality of the Tao source that would help you the most is Da Fu Wu, the greatest service. This is the key for your success. You are most loved and blessed. Okay, how, how, how? Okay, wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I hope you enjoyed those. We thank the Dao Source for those beautiful messages. Um, so, you know, uh, I just received some inspiration. Everyone who joins our workshop this weekend, you know, you know, we're going to be, you know, guiding people how to transform these blockages. We do have some special services and we're going to uh, throw in a little bonus. Anyone who registers for the special service, a uh, special service, uh, we're going to do a little soul reading for those people. <laughs> it just is so beautiful when you get these readings. So we'll announce that in the workshop, though which service that is, that is, that is a, a service that will be offered. So it's a, you do have to honor additional for that. And we'll throw in the reading, a small little reading for that. Very exciting. So congratulations, Danielle. Congratulations, uh, Mark. I can feel the excitement. Your souls are jumping up and down. <laughs> okay. Shari said, congratulations, Danielle. I saw a picture of your soul dancing freely and being peacefully at this time. You know why it's important for us to transform these blockages? When we don't have success, our soul, you know, it feels like suppressed. 
So but then, you know, that leads into depression, sadness, grief. It's because we're not living, even anger it could lead into. It's because we're not living our true potential. So that's why we're going to bring this workshop to each of you. Danielle said, wow, I'm joyous knowing how to transform negative changing blockages. Wonderful. We're going to go into depth on that over the weekend. Mark said, wonderful message. Congratulations, Mark. Sash, I can't wait to be at the workshop. So, you know, I see that many of you are from different parts of the world. The workshop is going to be uh, available for a recording. So you, if you're not available to watch it live, uh, you can, you know, watch it at your convenience for two weeks afterwards uh, and enjoy the teachings that way. Carrie said, I love the message for Mark. Uh, thank you that she gives her things. Deliana, you can do it. Believe in yourself. Yes. You know, sometimes the Tao source believes in us so much. Uh, at, but sometimes, you know, it's like Master Shah. He believes in many of his students. He has so much trust and belief that we can reach the highest enlightenment, that we can become successful. But sometimes we are limited. So we're going to share with you some of those secrets to help unlock that. And sometimes it's not complicated. Sometimes we make it so hard. Sometimes it's just about taking the time to be in the Tao calligraphy healing field. We're going to bring out special calligraphies. Uh, we're going to bring out a calligraphy called The Greatest Flourishing, Da Cheng Sheng. We have other special calligraphies at Master Shah's Tao Center Toronto that help to transform these blockages much faster because we don't have any time. We all want to be successful now, don't we? Raise your hand if you want to be successful now. You know, we don't want to wait anymore. You know, we've already suffered too much this year. <laughs> Let's all just really make an effort to transform. That way 2021 can be much, much better. Okay. So many congratulations to many people. Uh, you know, even I see some people with health issues, you know, you know, Cher and I work with many, many people with serious health conditions. And there are, you can have success, but sometimes we do need to find, you know, fine tune our practices or find the, the best mantra to chant to get us through. Renandette said, wonderful, this reading touched me deeply. Kirsten, I will be there. Danielle, congratulations, Mark. Happy to share your joy. Greatest love with everybody. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so very powerful. Okay, so, you know, tapping into, you know, how do we connect to the Tao nature? You know, the Tao source is unlimited. The Tao source is the creator. And, you know, there is actually, a, you know, there is actually a mantra, a creation, manifestation, you know, that you can, you can do practices to manifest things in your life, whatever it is that you want to manifest. How many of you man manifest relationships, either more happy or healthy relationships or your true love? How many of you want to trans, you know, bring success in your finances? You just tell your heaven, yes. Uh, so uh, Deepja asked a good question. Would the workshop itself help transfer, uh, transform, or is it just going to teach us the technique? Everything that we do, what's very unique about uh, the teachings of Dr. and Master Jigong Sha, he doesn't just, we don't just teach the practices, we don't just teach you the, the technique and teach you the wisdom. We teach you the how. We bring you into a field and you get blessed, you get a healing transformation so that just joining the workshop is already in the process of transforming the blockages in your life. That's very unique about the teaching of, about the work of Dr. Master Jigong Sha. You may find a lot of other books, go to other workshops that are going around, around the world from other teachers and other people, and they may share with you some wisdom about success, but many times it's the how part. And we're going to teach you the how, and we're going to give you the blessings to go with it that will accelerate that part. And that's what I love about Master Shah's teachings is he, you know, 
when it, you know, with Master Shah, whenever there's a, an issue or a blockage that comes up, we understand it. Okay, there's a blockage here in, in helping us, preventing us from having success. But then you get the blessings, and wow, right away, magic just happens. Light just explodes. The soul, the soul that Vanessa was talking about, the soul just radiates higher qualities of light. And now you can communicate more with your soul. So that's what I love about this. And we're going to be teaching you all of that, okay? So I'm just going to bring on Cher back to see if she has any final words for all of you. I loved the session with all of you. I, I think all of us had, you know, all of us were excited, so don't miss that. <laughs> Cher, welcome back. Thank you, Francisco, and uh, congratulations to those who received a reading. And You know, I was thinking as you were speaking, I was thinking about us, you know, because both Francisco and I had different careers um, and we had health challenges all those many years ago when we met Master Shah. For me, it's, um, you know, it was 16 years ago and Francisco about 20, I think. And so, when we talk about wanting to share with you the wisdom and the practices, the blessings, we we have had our own direct experience of having health challenges and, uh, you know, coming to that point in our lives where the career path that we were on, uh, you know, was ready to, you know, to change, was ready to shift in our lives. And so when we offer you, you know, the teachings and the wisdom, it's because we have worked with, with these practices, these techniques, we have received the blessings ourselves. And so we're coming from a place of having experienced it and, and knowing. Um, we wouldn't want to teach you anything or give you anything that we haven't tested out ourselves, you know, and haven't, haven't proven. And we, we have worked with many people. We have, you know, had people come with us who, to us, you know, had consultations with us who, you know, were really wanting to make a shift in their lives in some way from out of, you know, a very difficult place or from people who've been in a pretty good place but really wanted to take, you know, something to the next level. And so we want to help you to move into action around it. You know, we, we, we don't want to just um, teach you these, these, these things, but we want to help you move into action around it because that's, of course, ultimately, you know, the most important step. You can learn all you want. You can, you know, gain and gather, you know, information, but you need to use all of your shen chi jing your soul heart mind your energy and your matter to have success and move it into full manifestation so we want to take you through that process we can see you're excited uh, and and we're excited to be with you as francisco has shared so join us uh, ask alexia to share the information actually i think the information to register is is up there and we'll hold you and we will go forward also with having other opportunities you know beyond this workshop to continue you know the practices and and um perhaps do some check-ins i'm just uh, i'm i'm thinking now I'm creating now in the moment <laughs> as we're going uh, because this is really important for for all of us. Even if you have a project you're working on, you have something you know you really love, but you have a project you know that needs some kind of support, needs some um, deeper motivation, or you need to understand what the root cause is of it not you know getting to where um, you you'd like it to be. So, thank you so thank much. You, thank you, Cher. Thank everybody. you, everybody. It's been a great. So Thank you. So let us uh, welcome back Alexia, who will be closing. So thank you, everyone. Welcome thank back, Alexia. Thank you so much, Francisco. Thank you, Cher. And thank you, everyone who joined us today on this amazing
Oh, spirit and science introduction show and thank you everyone for sharing thank you vanessa we welcome your comments you're sharing on how this show was for you are you going to be joining us this weekend we sure hope so and you can click the link in the description of this video to register for spirit and science to unleash your unlimited abundance and this will be taking place saturday and sunday saturday and sunday and it will be recorded and you will have access to this recording for up to two weeks so you'll have two whole weeks to go back to watch the recording so if you're not able to join live you can still register and receive all the teachings all the nourishment from the dao chung field and much more so thank you so much everyone for joining we really look forward to seeing you this weekend and we wish you a wonderful night ahead Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs>